I'm Jessica Cartelli with your evening digital news brief for Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. A major milestone for Virtua Voorhees Hospital. Doctors say they've successfully treated the first two patients in New Jersey who have received plasma from other people who had COVID-19. One of those donations came from Marissa Liuzzi. Marissa and her aunt came down with COVID-19 at the same time. Marissa recovered first and with the help of doctors and quick approval from the FDA, she was able to donate her plasma to her aunt. She's doing very well. We'll hear from Marissa and her uncle tonight at 11. As our storm team told you, fast moving storms made their way in and out of the Delaware Valley today. This is what it looked like a few hours ago. Time lapse video captured the storm blowing past the Ben Franklin Bridge just after 2 o'clock. People are cleaning up in Camden County that was hit especially hard. Chopper 3 found two large trees uprooted in the same front yard on 1st Avenue in Haddon Township. Over at 10th Avenue and West High Street in Haddon Heights, a huge tree came down in the middle of the street. Before today's rain and wind, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy toured the Wildwood Boardwalk, damaged from last week's storms. Eyewitness News was there as the governor looked up at the looked at the ripped up boardwalk. The Garden State Governor said that the damage would be repaired. Wildwood's mayor described the damage as alarming. You can always get the latest on these stories and more right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the evening digital brief. I'm Jessica Cartalia.